Little Red by Bethan Woolman. One day, Little Red Riding Hood's very short father called to her. Um, oh, you can be the grave, not very well. All right. So Little Red Riding Hood set off on her journey to the forest to Grandma's house. Before long, she met a wolf. Where are you going this fine morning? Which might have scared some little girls, but not this little girl. I'm going to my grandmother's house. She's not feeling very well. Oh, really? And he made a plan. The wolf said goodbye to Little Red Riding Hood, took a shortcut through the trees, and found Grandma's house. Which was unlucky for Grandma. <laughs> He put on her glasses and climbed into Grandma's bed, and there he waited. It wasn't long before Little Red arrived and found the door to Grandma's house was already open. She peeped in through the window. Inside, she couldn't see Grandma, but she could see a badly disguised wolf waiting in Grandma's bed. Which might have scared some little girls, but not this little girl. She made a plan and went inside. Oh, hello, Grandma. Though she wasn't fooled for a minute, she played along with the wolf's disguise. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. And oh, Grandma, what big eyes you have. And Grandma, what big teeth you have. Why, yes, my dear, all the better to eat you with. And the wolf leapt forward which might have scared some little girls, but not this little girl, which was unlucky for the wolf. Which was unlucky for Grandma. Ah! Which was unlucky for Stop Grandma. Really? Stop! Which was unlucky for Grandma. Ah!